Are you considering moving to Seattle, Washington, but you don't want to live in the metro city of Seattle? I'm going to share with you where you can live south of Seattle. My name is Karen Jackson. I'm a realtor in the greater Seattle area. I'm a native to Washington State and I have lived near the Seattle, Washington area my entire life. I love it here. If you have any questions regarding Seattle, Washington or the surrounding areas, give me a call or text. I'd be happy to help you. So let's go over some of the best cities to live in south of Seattle, in my opinion, of course. Be sure to pay attention. There will be a fun fact about each city. Enumclaw. Enumclaw is a really cute country town. Although it has expanded a lot over the years, it still has a main one street downtown, and much of it is even closed on Sundays still. It's a very small town feel where everyone seems to know each other. Enumclaw, Washington is located at the base of Mount Rainier, and is one of the last cities you reach before you head up to the Crystal Mountain Ski Resort. It is known as the gateway to the north entrance of Mount Rainier National Park. The Chinook Scenic Byway on State Route 410 is the pathway to many hiking and biking and ATV trails. The Crystal Mountain Ski Resort is about 45 minutes away from Enumclaw, and they are actually putting a lot of money into that resort right now to make it more resort-like. Enumclaw has a really fun golf course called Enumclaw Golf Course and a hospital, Enumclaw Hospital. Enumclaw is one of the cleanest cities around in my opinion. There's lots of farmland here. Now Enumclaw is going to be a bit longer commute if you have to commute to Seattle area. It's going to be a good hour or more to get to the Seattle area and about 45 minutes to Tacoma. Enumclaw has very highly rated schools comparatively for the area. For housing, you will find many older homes built in the early 1900s, and there are many homes in neighborhood settings. Most are contemporary style homes. You will find a lot of ranches and acreage homes as well. There are a few condos and apartments, but not a lot. A fun fact about Enumclaw, it is one of the largest thoroughbred horse breeding and boarding areas in the United States. Check out the video above for a tour of Enumclaw. Renton. Renton is my hometown, so I have a special place for it. Renton is about halfway in between Seattle and Tacoma. Renton is a pretty large city with six major neighborhoods or communities. There's downtown Renton, Talbot Hill, Renton Hill, Fairwood, the Renton Highlands, East Renton, and Maple Hills. In downtown Renton, you will find a great outdoor shopping center called The Landing. Jean Coulomb Park on Lake Washington is also in Renton. The Cedar River runs through Renton and there's lots of great trails for walking. Renton is also home to the Seattle Seahawks training camp. There's a great golf course in Renton called Maplewood Golf Course. Renton has a hospital, Valley Medical Center, and it has one of the highest rated school districts in the area. The Issaquah School District has a few schools that are in the Renton limits. Renton has a fun farmer's market every Tuesday in downtown. As far as the types of houses go in Renton, you're going to find just about everything here. In the downtown area, you'll see the houses that start in the 1900s. There's also a lot of new construction homes as you head towards Fairwood or East Renton. Most of the condos are in the Fairwood or downtown areas. There are some big corporations in Renton, which is great for jobs. Boeing, Pat Carr, Providence Health, and Wizards of the Coast are to name a few. A fun fact about Renton, the Jimi Hendrix Memorial is in Renton. You should go check it out someday. Kent, Washington. Kent is located along the State Route 167 corridor. Kent is made up of a few main communities. There's a downtown, an East Hill area, and a West Hill area. There's also Covington, which I believe Covington has broken off into its own city, but it's also considered Kent. There's a huge Amazon distribution center in Kent now. And there is the Showware Center, which is the home of the Seattle Thunderbirds hockey team, which just was in the playoffs. There's an outdoor shopping area in Kent called Kent Station, which has lots of yummy restaurants and some shopping. There's some small boutiques there and a movie theater as well. Auburn, Washington. Auburn, Washington is south of Renton and Kent. There's a West Hill of Auburn and an East Hill, which is considered Lee Hill. And then there's Lakeland Hills. Check out my video on Lakeland Hills. You'll get a great tour of the area. There's downtown Auburn and then there's East Auburn. There are homes as early as the 1900s that are located in Auburn, but the majority are newer than that. In the West Hill, you're going to find homes from the 1960s and 70s 
and newer. In Lakeland Hills, you're going to find newer homes. 1980s was the start of it, but most of them are 2000 and newer. Same with Lee Hill. Lee Hill and Lakeland Hill are more suburban type neighborhoods. East Auburn is going to be more farmland. Lakeland Hills and downtown Kent are the most walkable areas in Auburn. In Lakeland, there are grocery stores and restaurants and sidewalks everywhere. It's a great community. It is growing really fast and it is close to Lake Taps. Lakeland Hills schools are rated fairly high for the area as well. One of the main Boeing Airplane Group plants is in Auburn. There's also a lot of distribution companies as well. Auburn has its own hospital and multi-care is very prominent in Auburn, Washington. There's a nice sized farmer's market on the weekend and there's also a Sounders train depot in Auburn. It's a great commute location. A fun fact about Auburn, the city of Auburn was incorporated with the name Slaughter in the honor of William Slaughter, who was killed during the clash with the Indians in 1855. Maple Valley, Washington. Maple Valley is one of the safest cities in the Seattle area, according to Crime Grade. It's also one of the smaller cities. Most of the houses were built from the year 2000 and newer with a neighborhood feel. There are some older communities here, but the majority of the housing is newer with sidewalks and shopping and restaurants. Maple Valley is a very walkable area. The downfall to Maple Valley is it is not the most convenient location if you have to go to Seattle or Tacoma or just about anywhere. It is known as a commuter city for residents. There's only two roads that go in and out of Maple Valley, Highway 169 and Kent Kingley Road. Tacoma School District is located in Maple Valley and it is one of the highest rated school districts in the area. There's also a great farmer's market on the weekends in Maple Valley. Black Diamond is right next door, which has the 10 trails development. This is a planned community. This is a planned community, and when they're done, there will be about 6,000 homes. A fun fact about Maple Valley. The town's early history mainly had to do with coal and lumber milling to build homes and a railroad that ran through the town. Federway, Des Moines, Burien, and SeaTac. These are all cities that are close to the Puget Sound. These cities are along the Interstate 5 corridor, so they have a better commute location than most of the others I've mentioned. If you want a waterfront home of the Sound south of Seattle, you should look in Burien, Des Moines, or Federal Way. Burien has a small town feel with quaint restaurants and shops. There are a lot of older homes, but it is an up and coming neighborhood. Des Moines has a large marina and the Anthony's Homeport restaurant is there. There's also a great restaurant called Wally's that has great seafood. It is a smaller town and it has a great farmer's market on the weekend. Federal Way. Out of these four cities, Federal Way has the newest housing and is one of the larger cities of the four. There's a movie theater, there's walking trails, ballparks, there's a Costco and all your big box stores. There's also a farmer's market here on the weekends. As you can tell, farmer's markets are really big around here. There's a shopping mall in Federal Way called The Commons. If you're planning on relocating to Seattle and you would like some more specific information or tips about the area, then please reach out to me anytime. There is so much to share with you about Seattle and the surrounding cities. I can't do it all in just a small video.
fun fact about Kent, Washington, Kent was originally known for its hops in the late 1800s. After hops in the 1920s and 30s, it became known for its lettuce crops. Here's a fun fact about Kent, Washington. In 1889, Kent was known for its hops production. After hops, Kent became known for its lettuce and during the 20s and 30s, earned the title of the lettuce capital of the world. 